Hey everyone, Dev Walker here and welcome back to my channel. Please be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you are interested in travel, lifestyle and fashion videos. I am finally back with another jewelry review. I noticed that my Tiffany T collection bracelet and ring did very well on YouTube so I'm going to expand and do some more jewelry reviews for you all since that's what's doing the best. So. I have a Cartier piece that I want to share with you all. We are going to unbox what I have in here along with, if you can see, there's a couple of uh, goodies inside. So let's get into it. Okay, so if you're new here, I have said in a previous video that I am officially retired, resigned, whatever you want to call it, from the designer bag and shoe game. I'm sorry, y'all, I just can't do it. So what I mean by that is lately I've been seeing these irrational price increases. Everything is just going through the roof. A pair of pumps are almost $2,000. A mini, mini bag, like a micro bag, is over $1,000. And I have to be completely honest, y'all. I just don't have it. And I'm not going to do it. So I have shifted my focus a bit and I have been focusing more on jewelry. Because I feel like jewelry just last longer you know like you can wear jewelry for 10 15 20 and even 30 years from now or you can pass it down or give it to a child when they get older i just feel like jewelry just holds way more value especially since the price of a pair of pumps is almost the price of a gold ring y'all could keep it the girls could have it if it's not on sale like sale sale like 40 50 and 60 percent off retail dev is not buying it i'm sorry Okay, so rant over. <laughs> Let's get into my Cartier ring. Okay, so I brought you in a little bit closer so we can get into the details of the packaging and just all of the little goodies that Cartier in Europe gives you that I noticed doesn't really happen in the US. They just kind of give you your item, your certificate, and that's it. But when you shop in Europe, you actually get a couple of more things. So let's see what's in here. So we have our certificate of, hold on, let me get closer. There it is. This is the certificate of authenticity. Let's open it up and see what it looks like because I've actually never opened it. So let's open this certificate together. Hope I'm doing this right. I am very distracted, by the way. Okay. Let's open her. This is the little pamphlet that it comes in. Let's open it. And there it is. Okay, so here is the authenticity certificate for my ring. If you, I'm gonna get a little bit closer. There you can see like that heated stamp right there with the Cartier logo. It has a serial number along with the date of purchase. And then if you can see on the stamp right there, it says the city it was bought in, which is Barcelona. Abby went to Barcelona to get this for me. So yes, this is the official authenticity certificate. This proves that my item is 100% authentic and there are no fakes over here. So in here, we also have just some dust bags in case I want to bring the ring with me when I travel. I don't have to worry about it getting scratched or any type of damages. So that is actually a nice touch. They gave me two of them. We also got another Cartier box. I believe this is the jewelry cleaner. So let's open it up together. And yep, this is the Cartier jewelry cleaner there it is we have a nice little microfiber cloth and a little brush i love touches like this like i feel like this is all a part of like the shopping experience like these are the things that make it all worth it to me and then we have another little pamphlet in here i'm guessing these are the um the care instructions in different languages that also says cartier on it I, I love, I love all, I've, I love all of this stuff. I am loving it already, and I didn't even get to the actual ring yet. So that is the jewelry cleaner and the care instructions. 
Next thing we have in here is we got some samples. You know, the girls love some samples with their purchases. So, see, I haven't even opened much of this stuff yet. So, this is actually the first time for me. Okay. So, we have... This is a perfume. I'm not sure what it is. Let's find out together. This is... Pure, pure Magnolia. Well, that's the English translation, but you can kind of see. Yep. This is a perfume sample. Should we try it? Oh, that smells really good. That smells really good. And I am like a floral smell type of girl. I don't really like anything that's too overpowering. So I really, really like this a lot. All right. Now, what else do we have? Something pink. Wood and pink. I don't know, is this a fragrance? Is this a lipstick? I don't know, let's find out together. What is this? Okay, this is another fragrance. Okay, let's try this one. It's called Oud and Pink. Okay, so this one is a bit stronger than the Magnolia, so I actually like that one better. This is not bad. I mean, I'll wear it. But it is not my personal favorite. So that is Oud and Pink, if you can see that. Okay, what else is left? We have one more little box before we get to the ring. What is this? Okay, this is another perfume or toilet. This one is called Declaration. Yes, Declaration. All right, how do you do this? Okay, that's light. I really like that. This one is Declaration, if you can see. Yep, Cartier Declaration. Okay, and another thing that I really like that they give you when you shop in Europe, because they don't give this to you when you shop in the US, I got a little mini bottle of champagne, y'all. I haven't even opened it yet. I was trying to figure out the perfect day, but this champagne, you can only get this in the US if you spend, I think, Maybe like ten to fifteen thousand dollars. That's what they told me. Ridiculous. But luckily, Abby went to Europe and she got all of the goodies for me. So shout out to Abby, girl. Get you a friend like Abby. But you can't have mine though. You got to get another one. <laughs> and now for the main event. This is the box that my ring came in. This is the Juice on Clue ring. I love Cartier's packaging so much. It's just so detailed. You can see like the ridges on the box. Like I, I love it from the color red to the gold. It's just, oh, love Cartier packaging. So we open it up and then we have another red box in there. This flaps open. And then we have a red button here and then we push and there she is, the Juston Clue ring. This is the wide version. I love it, love it, love it. Let's take her out the box and let's get a good look at her. She is, oh, she is really a showstopper, isn't she? Wait, let's get her in focus. Come on, camera. All right, there we go. So pretty. I, I love it, love it, love it. This is, the translation for this ring is called Just a Nail, but in French it's Just en Clou. As you can see, it is designed like a nail. It has that sharp edge, that round top, and it just wraps around your finger. I love it, love it, love it. It's very classy. It's very trendy. It's edgy, and I love her. So this ring is going to go on my index finger. And it fits perfectly, and I'm currently wearing it with my Tiffany T1 wide ring. You can actually see this on my previous video that I will link down below, but this is how she looks. Actually, let's take the Tiffany one off so you can get a better look. All right. That is it. I love it, love it, love it. Let me know what you think in the comments. There is a more narrow one that is available, but... I just feel like with the size of my hand and the size of my fingers, I just didn't really like the way that looked. So I decided to go with this one. 
And if I want to switch it up, I can put it on my middle finger. I mean, it is a bit more roomy there, as you can see, but it can still fit on there. Isn't she beautiful? Oh, I love her. Okay, so let's get into the details of this ring. We're going to talk about the dimensions, the sizing, and the price. So currently in the U.S., the Cartier Juston Clue ring retails for $2,500. Abby got this for me in Europe for a bit cheaper because of the VAT refund and I believe I paid about maybe 2100 or maybe like 2000 even or something like that but I did save a few hundred because she bought it for me in Europe. However, in the US it is $2,500. This ring is 18 karat gold and my ring size is about a eight and a half, eight and three quarters. So I have a size 59 on because I wanted to originally wear it on my index finger. So this is a size 59. So I've worn this ring maybe about like, I want to say like five or six times and there are no um, scratches or any signs of damage or anything like that. Let's see if you go all around, it's pretty much all smooth. And I've worn it with other rings, and I would have thought by now there would have been like a scratch or something on it, but no, there is not. So definitely, definitely recommend this ring if you are on the market for a piece of jewelry. So I'll give you all one more last look at it. There it is. Oh, she's beautiful. I could look at this all day, <laughs> but that is my review of the Cartier Juston Clue ring definitely recommend it adding it and i definitely recommend adding it to your collection if you are interested so in the future i will be reviewing more jewelry pieces since that seems to be what is doing the best on my channel i will be doing some travel vlogs and all that type of stuff but i promise to do more jewelry reviews and there will be one coming up again very very soon if you made it this far in the video, please drop some feedback in the comments. Do you own any other Cartier pieces? Let me know because there's a bunch that I want that are on my wish list for 2023 and beyond. But yeah, share some feedback with me, guys. And don't forget to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Bye, guys.